I'm excited to show you what is by far the most advanced iPhone we have ever created. This is iPhone XS. It is the most advanced iPhone we've ever created. It is made of a surgical grade stainless steel. It has a gorgeous new gold finish on the front and on the glass. And it's covered on the front and the back with a new formulation of glass that is the most durable glass ever in a smartphone. iPhone XS comes in three finishes, gold, silver, and space gray. They are beautiful. And they're protected from dust and liquids to an even higher level now, IP68. That means it's protected to two meters for up to 30 minutes. Now the screen on iPhone XS is a super retina display, the best we've made yet. It's an OLED display, 5.8 inches on the diagonal. It has 2.7 million pixels, 458 pixels per inch, the highest quality display on an iOS device. Now let's put it side by side with our plus size phone, an iPhone 8 Plus. And as you can see, it's as big a display as the plus size phone, but in a smaller design. Your photos look stunning on iPhone XS. You shoot them with beautiful wide color, and they display better than ever on the new Super Retina display because it has a 60% greater dynamic range for colors in your photos than the iPhone X's display. Well, the iPhone XS is not just one, but two sizes of display. The 5.8 inch and a new 6.5 inch Super Retina display. This is the biggest display ever on an iPhone. It is an OLED display as well. 3.3 million pixels, 458 pixels per inch again. Now, a lot of our customers have loved the plus size iPhones, so let's put that side by side. You can see it's about the same size phone with a much larger display. So what do you call a phone that's bigger than plus size? Well, we call it the iPhone XS Max. There are two Super Retina displays now, 5.8 inch, 6.5 inch, both OLED displays both a million to one contrast ratio. They're HDR displays. They have fast 120 hertz touch sensitive layer. That's how it gets its smooth scrolling. They both have 3D touch for pressure sensitivity. And we've matched them to incredible sound systems as well. Stereo sound better than in any iPhone to date. Now, with the XS, you get a wider stereo field. All right, let's talk about Face ID. With iPhone XS, you just pick up your iPhone, look at it, it recognizes your face, and unlocks your notifications and information. And it does it faster than ever before, because the XS now has faster algorithms and runs on a faster version of the secure Enclave. So it's gotten even better. It's called the A12 Bionic. And the A12 Bionic is the industry's first seven nanometer chip. And that's a huge breakthrough, yes. The A12 Bionic is packed with 6.9 billion transistors. Let's start with the CPU. It is an Apple-designed six-core CPU. This is a fusion system. It has two high-performance cores, four high-efficiency cores. The two high-performance cores run up to 15% faster than the cores in the A11 Bionic, while also being 40% more energy efficient. And the high-efficiency cores are up to 50% more energy efficient. And all six cores can run at once. The A12 GPU is now up to 50% faster than the A11. So a huge jump in graphics performance. We told you last year the A11 Bionic could process an insane 600 billion operations per second. Well, the A12 Bionic is able to process 5 trillion operations per second. The Apple designed storage controller in the A12 Bionic can now address twice as much internal storage as previously. So now you can up to 512 gigabytes of internal storage if you want. This A12 Bionic is without question the smartest and most powerful chip ever in a smartphone. A12 Bionic with the performance updates in iOS 12 helps apps launch up to 30% faster. You are going to be blown away with the pictures you can take with the iPhone XS's camera. It is a remarkable new dual camera system. It has a 12 megapixel wide camera, a 12 megapixel telephoto camera, and an even more improved True Tone flash. That 12 megapixel wide camera has a new sensor, a larger sensor with bigger, deeper pixels. 
It has optical image stabilization and our fast 1.8 aperture lens. It's Apple six element lens. The wide, the telephoto camera is also 12 megapixel camera, also optical image stabilization, f2.4 Apple design lens. On the front side, you have the true depth camera system. And that's a new sensor as well, a seven megapixel sensor that's twice as fast. And it works together with the IR camera and the dot projector so it can create depth in your portrait mode photos. And it creates better segmentation masks. So when you're doing portrait mode, the hair and the glasses are better than ever before. In fact, when you take a photo, it's capable of doing a trillion operations on every photo you take. We have a brand new feature we call Smart HDR. You go to press down on the shutter and you get a picture instantly. It's called zero shutter lag. What the A12 Bionic is actually doing is shooting a four frame buffer so it can capture that critical moment. But the A12 Bionic is doing even more than that. It's also capturing secondary interframes at the same time. And those interframes are shot at a different exposure level to bring out highlight details. And it's doing more than that. It's shooting a long exposure so it can get better shadow detail as well. And when you're taking that picture, it's analyzing all of those, finding out how to match up the best parts of each and merge them into one perfect photo. So when you take the picture with portrait mode, and then you go into the Photos app, and you tap Edit, you're going to see a new slider on the bottom. It says Depth. You can, after taking the picture, adjust the depth of field from f1.4 to f16. And the background is changing with it. Taking advantage of the four microphones built into iPhone XS, we can record stereo sound with your videos as well. iPhone XS is able to, compared to iPhone X, get you up to 30 minutes longer in your day than iPhone X did, and that's really great. iPhone XS Max has the biggest battery we've ever put into an iPhone, and it can get you up to an hour and a half longer in your day. And there's a lot more new with iPhone XS and XS Max. They have faster networking, gigabit class LTE. They have more bands than any other smartphone, so they have the best worldwide roaming. One thing we've had requests for is dual SIM capability. Here are some reasons people want dual SIM. Some people want two phone numbers on their phone. There may be a home number and a work number. Some want two different plans, depending on the region of the world they're in and what they need. And many of us like to travel and want to keep our local phone number, but may need to get a data plan in the region we're in so we can have access to fast data there. We will have a single physical SIM and an eSIM in both iPhone XS and XS Max. Uh, in China, where we can't bring eSIM into iPhone yet, we're making a special model of the iPhone XS Max that has two physical SIMs, actually one on each side of the SIM tray. It's a really smart implementation. iPhone XS will come in three configurations, 64 gigs, 256 gigs, and that new 512 gigabyte storage capacity. It starts at $999. An iPhone XS Max, same three configurations with its larger screen, larger battery, we just $100 more starting at $1099. So iPhone XS and XS Max, you can start pre-ordering on Friday, September 14th, and it'll ship a week later, September 21st. And it'll start shipping in all of these markets. A nice long list. But if you don't see your favorite location there, don't worry, a week later, they'll start shipping in all of these locations as well. You know, I know, I know what you know. Yeah, yeah. Not the first, like a cold day, day. <laughs>